Welcome back to TMZ Live. I did not know about this, and I, I've been fascinated by it. Mm -hmm. There is um, a, I don't even want to say a program, it's just a drill that when somebody goes to prison, when they get out, where do they go? Right. You don't really think about that. You don't, but th there is a, a, a thing where a lot of prisoners will actually get roommates, civilian roommates, mm -hmm. um, who take um, the former inmate in. It's controversial, people are scared of it. And from the prison point of view, this is a way of getting people back into society. So there's a new A&E show called From Inmate to Roommate, and it's fascinating. And one of the stars of this show is a guy named William Steele. William Steele served 18 years in prison for a variety of things yep. involving guns and drugs. He was somehow involved with Jeffrey Epstein, yep. Jelaine Maxwell, and he got out last year and became one of those people who got a civilian roommate. And it, it, I, the dynamic of this yeah, very is so interesting. So uh, he's joining us right now. So William, welcome to TMZ Live. Hey, thank you for having me, Harvey. You guys are awesome. I love TMZ. Well, thank Thanks, you. William. I want to hear about this. Is, is this a formal program where prisons reach out into the community to find suitable roommates for inmates who are being paroled or just having served their time? Nope. In my case, I had a falling out with family over, over various reasons, over financial reasons, and wanted a fresh start. So I asked my pen pal who lived in Indiana if her and her husband wouldn't mind if I stay there for a while. So it's sort of an individual thing, not necessarily a program, but you know, studies have shown that when you have a place to live, stable housing upon release from incarceration, recidivism rates plunge. And so I was really blessed to be, you know, have this opportunity and this opportunity to be take part in this A and E show um, that really sheds the light on this problem. And uh, I'm just humbled to be part of it, inmate to roommate. William, after doing this long bid behind bars, what was the biggest challenge moving in with people who are just kind of living a normal life, married couple, and then you come fresh out of prison? What was the biggest challenge? Well, think of this. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm living in the Midwest, surrounded by cornfields. The closest thing is Notre Dame University. And a big transition as far as what I'm accustomed to, the fast life. And I'm living with people who are very strict Seventh-day Adventists. And can't give away much more than that, but uh, it's an interesting ride. You have, to, you have to check it out. There's a ton of drama, and it's a very interesting transition for me. Uh, the acclimation is still going on. You say that the recidivism rate drops when something like this can happen, which I get. At the same time, there is recidivism. It's a thing. Right. So when somebody is imprisoned, say, for a very serious crime, even a violent crime, it would seem that it would give a lot of people pause to say, yeah, you know, I'll help you out and give you a place to stay. Let me clarify. In my case, a nonviolent offender, I was in for burglaries, grand theft, related charges because I was known as a prolific jewel and art thief. So I stole millions of dollars. I was profiled on America's Most Wanted website. And I had very high profile things going on, but I was in so long. I took college courses, writing classes. I hooked up with an A-list screenwriter in Hollywood, but uh, Bettina Zillowash said she passed away while working on my screenplay. She was working with uh, um, on Bessie with Queen Latifah and all that. She was out nominated for an Emmy. So I had a lot of good mentors in my life um, and I reached out. I took it upon myself to reach out and really push for college and university courses. And now I'm a published author. I have a true crime channel and an opportunity to land somewhere that was stable Help me finish my books, get my true crime podcast going, you know, official William Steele. But it's just been a, a heck of a ride. I've been 18 years in a box and four of those in solitary because I escaped from prison. I went through hell. Now we work with victim. I work in victim advocacy with my fiance, Dr. Mary Bass behind me in the photo. And uh, we also work with people that are wrongfully incarcerated, trying to help get them out. I love to collaborate with people if they're if anybody's interested. But this uh, this show and this opportunity to land on my feet has really been a, a, a blessing that's appreciated. I don't take a second of my freedom for granted. William, you said that there's no actual plan out there, a program out there. Should there be? We've, we've established this is an issue. People go back to prison. Should this be a, a, a program? To my knowledge, there's no formal one in the United States as far as placing people with, with civilians that they don't know. Um, they try to line you up with family only. And a lot of times it's family drama that makes people reoffend or, or relapse. Um, I think there's liability issues because if the DOCs, the correctional places, 
um, introduce families to felons and something went wrong, they'd probably be massive liability. The same reasons ministries won't directly do it, but I became friends with, with Sharna, she's on the show, um, over five, six years of writing back and forth. And uh, so, you know, it was a different thing. She got to know me. She saw I was productive. I was always helping inmates. I was a law clerk in prison. I was on the offender representative committee. I was always about helping people and writing my books, working on my screenplays. So she knew I was always doing something positive and I would always help other guys to sign up for programs, college courses, ministry. I worked with the chaplain's office, the medical department. So I was always trying to do something positive. She recognized that and, and they think they took a chance with me and I, I I'd like to think it worked out okay, you know, for me. It's something, honestly, yeah. I hadn't thought about, me but it's, it's really interesting. So it's called From Inmate to Roommate on A&E. It premieres Thursday, and it's really fascinating. Thanks. William, thank you for the time. Really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Harvey, we love you on TMZ. Even in prison, we watch you. Thank you. We're big Thanks, there, William. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Hi, this is William Steele, True Crime King. Thank you for watching my show. I'm humbled. And very grateful to have this opportunity and platform. Please like and subscribe my true crime channel, my podcast, and check out my books, Earning an Honest Living, Victim Advocacy, and Telling the Stories of the Wrongfully Incarcerated. Thank you. Hello, this is William Steele, out in front of my attorney's office, the Tickton Law Group in Deerfield Beach, Florida. Uh, Peter Tickton is also friends and representing President Donald Trump on some civil litigation. And I'm proud to know him, not only as my attorney, but he became a friend and mentor during my incarceration. So if he's the attorney in the firm that you want between you and your legal problems. So check out Peter Tickton if you have any uh, legal problems. Phenomenal attorney. My uh, uh, co-counsel here on everything, uh, uh, attorney helping him, is uh, Francis Moda. Wonderful people. And we hope you have any unfortunate legal issues, you contact uh, Peter Tickton. Thank you for your support.